Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'll be taking you guys on a continuous tour of the campus. Today we'll be touring uh, Fujian Agriculture and Forestry University uh, in a continuous video from the ones I posted earlier. Please follow my channel so you can see more of this beautiful campus. So right here is a, is a park. It's a very huge one. Yeah, uh, there's nothing small in China. Everything is huge. So, um, uh, so right here, let me show you guys uh, this map of China. Let me show you this map of China. You can can you see that? Yeah, this is Chinese map right here on this statue. You can see that from an area view this park is actually shaped in the same as this map of china so you guys um very soon i will bring it to you guys the aerial view of this park it is exactly as this very map you are looking at here so you can see some things are written here in chinese and down here in english fujian agriculture and forestry university is um it's a well-known university here uh, for postgraduate studies you can study in English but if you are to study for bachelor degree you will be expected to study in Chinese but there will be a timeline that you will have to learn Chinese probably a year and then take um, take a, a course in Chinese when you pass a Chinese level HSK a examination which H stands for Han Yu S Xue Ping K Kao Shi uh, you pass that course then you will be able to study here in Chinese so uh, like I promised earlier one of these days I'm gonna bring you guys um, uh, admission information so let's go come with me and let's tour this campus So the building that I've been showing you guys earlier, this is uh, the university's administrative building. This is also part of the administrative building. This is a holiday tour, winter 2023 tour of Fujian Agriculture and Forestry University. Okay, this is uh, one of the classroom buildings. You can see, welcome to the teaching and the learning center of fundamental computing. It's one of the classrooms we have here. These are some walkways, some small stream. Okay, this is a very large classroom block here. This is a large classroom block. So, and the building right there also is a classroom block. So we are going to take a tour of this area some other time right now. And this part is a police station, the campus police station. Here you could uh, come for police matters. Okay, and for registering your residence and some other stuff here. So, and also, they also have the security department there. All right, so, let's go. I'm walking right in the middle of the street because um, it's holiday time. There's virtually nobody here this time, you see. You can hear the birds singing. 
so like and comment and tell me what you would like to see about this campus guys you guys can see the vegetation here is really very cool plants pathways from here i can actually walk back into the administrative building there and here also we have small lake big smaller than what we saw last time with different species of uh, aquatic animals there one of the dormitories we have here students dormitory or hostel whatever name you want to use what do you see here here are a lot of e-bikes guys do you see you see bikes you this see e-bikes to the dormitory you can see it's under lock and keys so this is how we commute from one point to the other on this campus right in front of the camera right now is a college of public administration and then in front of it, we have a basketball court. You can see how beautiful it is here. And this is also another track. This track could lead you right to the major road. Okay, and this is another student's dormitory building. Guys, apart from students using e-bike, we also have some shuttles that students will use when going to classroom or moving from one part of the campus to the other. So this is route number eight. Okay, uh, this station is called a uh, number eight uh, um, uh, shuttle stop. Um, number eight cafeteria is the canteen that I'm going to show you guys after this. So, but the shuttle number that passes through this route is number three and six and these are the several stops so uh right here this is the canteen or the cafeteria uh we have um cafeterias in different locations so here we have eight nine and ten number eight nine and number ten cafeteria so the ground floor is open now because we still have a few people in the uh, on campus that will still use it for their meals right here we have milk tea shops restaurant coffee houses mini supermarket the one you can see here named Thrive Mart and here is a bakery here we can get fresh freshly baked cakes and breads sandwiches and the rest of them it's a beautiful place it's quite nice okay the building right in front of me is also another dormitory block in this campus, we have more than 30,000 students. 30,000 students. Guys, you see? Another lines of scooters or electronic, uh, electric bikes. And over there is our campus clinic. It's up the hill there. The building you see right in front of this camera is the clinic. So... I will take you guys on a tour of that section. This part of the campus is called the South. Last time, the South area, last time I showed you guys about uh, the North area and the lake in the North. This is student's dormitory. Right in front of me at the end of this road is the school clinic. And this is also student's dormitory. You guys can see. Okay, 
So, and I will show you guys the road that we're just walking through right now. Yeah. I was coming from, I was coming from right there. So, right now, I'll take you guys towards this way. Uh, this is the entrance to this very student's dormitory. Yeah, this video is being made in a COVID time. Hello? Um, you make a ma? What's your name? 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 What's yeah, bye bye. So, yeah. So, I just met uh, a security uh, man. We know each other, and then we just had a little conversation. He said, What am I doing? So, I'm just making a record, recording videos. So yeah, this is also students' dormitories, and uh, we have some stores or shops around here. Uh, some part of this building is uh, is also a restaurant. You guys can see Eban Service Center, and right here we have the bank. We have the we have a bank here, um, ABC Bank, Agricultural Bank of China. right here and beside the bank the red signs you see there is a printing shop and on this students dormitory the first floor here or the ground floor uh, we have telecom, uh, telecom companies like uh, China Unicorn going further right here we have um, China Mobile and this building right here is a Students Activity Center Students Activity Center so and also here we have a China Telecom company so Okay, some families are out there having fun with their family members. Okay, this shuttle route, Tokwan Square. So this is the Tokwan Square where people can Students, uh, when students are on campus, it's a very busy place. People hang out here in the evening. Some people are been skateboarding and doing some other activities. Uh, let me show you guys this uh, college. This college is very interesting. It's an interesting college. Um, you guys can see here. The name here is um, College of Marxism. Fujian Agriculture and the Forestry University. Can you guys see that? College of Marxism. You see? School of Marxism. Alright? So, it's a cool course. So you can actually come here to learn Marxism. Alright, so I think we'll be ending our video soon at this junction. So at this juncture, we are going to call it a day. This is uh, the main thoroughfare in and out of the campus. As you can see. This is the main thoroughfare in and out of the campus. And that's the lake that I introduced last time in my video. So, and here is the activity center of the campus, students' activity center or the auditorium. So here is a place we host many of our students' uh, activities or events. So 
I'll give you guys 360 view of this very point where we are ending today's video. And the right at that spot was where we ended our video last time. So thank you for watching. Join us on our continuous tour of the campus. And here is my humble self. Thank you so much for following me. And please subscribe. And let's have fun in China. Thank you very much. Goodbye, everyone. See you in the next edition.